Hello. <laughs> happy Floss Tube. Happy, yeah, happy Friday. Um, we are the Sable Stitchers, and this is our Floss Tube number 21. And if you're new here, welcome. Sable is an acronym for Stash Accumulated Beyond Life Expectancy. And we do have a, just a little bit of stash and a little bit of haul to share today. But As always. Yes. we're. Um, I'm Roberta. And you can find me on Instagram occasionally at Roberta Lyle. And I'm Lenny, and I'm on Instagram at L. Eisenberg. Um, yeah. Hi. <laughs> and happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart stitch, kind of. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah, well, we do have a lot of Valentine's we, we things do. that we're going to be sharing with you today, and we're really excited about that. Um, we have a few things we're going to cover, some past finishes, our works in progress, um, plans, and we're going to talk about a retreat we just attended. And, um, they just, go by yeah. too fast. <laughs> Yeah, and I just wanted to start by mentioning a couple comments that we had um, after our last show. We had a lot of comments talking about housework and cooking, <laughs> and so I just remember, and I love I love watching some of the floss tubers, especially with the younger gals, and talking about you know having kids and you know working around their schedules and things. Oh my gosh! I remember those days. I was a stay-at-home mom. I did craft shows, but I was home for many many years, and. Um, I was telling Lenny, I used to do my housework at night because I have two sons. I didn't want them to think that, like, the house was just magically clean. So I would be, you know, washing dishes and doing laundry and vacuuming at night so they would know there's actual work involved in <laughs> no fairies. So there's no house fairies. There's no house fairies that come or elves or whatever. <laughs> and then also a lot of people talked about cooking and how hard that is in you know, especially like when we were getting ready to sell our last house, you know, you have to keep everything clean. And between that and moving, I had a real long period of time where I just wasn't cooking. And, you know, we, just, we were kind of doing a lot of grazing, and it's not always the healthiest thing to do. So we started subscribing to meal boxes and have done a few different ones. And the one that I liked a lot was HelloFresh. And I discontinued them for a period of time. And then for Christmas, my sister gave us a box of um, Green Chef. And that, I think, is my favorite so far. And the bonus is my husband likes it, too. So I don't do it. If you haven't done one of those, you don't have to do it every week. I have specified um, three meals a week for four people because that way, you know, I can take it for lunch or we can eat it over two days. And the, what the benefit I've seen is I don't waste things, you know, like I was telling Linny, you know, if you have a recipe and you have to do broccoli, you buy a head of broccoli, that other half might go to waste. They send just enough for that's whatever nice. meal you're cooking. So that's been a bonus for me. And like I said, you know, and you get, you know, like after my sister gave it to me, I thought I'm not going to do this anymore. So I stopped it. And then I thought, no, I'm going to. And when I went back, they had an offer for like, $175 off several boxes. So, you know, there is ways to make it economical. And and so if you are having trouble cooking and planning and that kind of thing and want to do something that's healthy and, you know, and it's not inexpensive. I, won't, I, I know it's not inexpensive because, you know, you're paying for the convenience of having someone do all that for you. That might be something you'd look into. So that was what I wanted to say from the comments. And then, well, shoot, yeah. he's... My husband's going to watch this. <laughs> you mean there's another option? <laughs> that did remind me of something, though. Um, um, you know, first of the year, we're trying to watch our weight and, you know, eat healthy. And and um, did you know that eating dried grapes is really good for you? Okay, why? Well, I, I mean, yeah. I was just raising awareness. <laughs> I knew there was something about raisin in there. I know. I almost so, blew it. But anyway. Shoot. Okay. Well, you had some life updates. I do have a little bit of life. There's some just kind of normal life updates, but I do have a surprise update, too. Uh, that wasn't on your way over, right? No. No, it wasn't, but it, it, it was this week. But my third grandson just went to high school for his high school orientation and wow. so wow. I have three boys will be in high school next year I can't believe it um, yeah great but I had said Grant I can't believe you're that old I remember you just you know running on the patio with diapers on and 
He says, well, Mimi, that's just the way it happens. You know, you just grow up. <laughs> and anyway, so then uh, Luke had a swim meet last night. So we had gone. That was a new sport for us. Um, he's always loved to swim. He was our first swimmer. Um, he, he And he's long and tall. And he, he just does those strokes. And it's like he's halfway across the pool. But that was fun to watch. He's trying to speed up his time for to go to state so as he's just a freshman so we were really excited about that that's, a, that's really good i mean you have to be really fit to be a swimmer i did i did a lot of swimming and i, I went to a lot of swim meets when i was in high school because i was a tick chick <laughs> what's a tick chick i mean tick tick chick because back then you had to time the races and uh, so oh. uh, those of us who were tick chicks would stand at the end well, and they had click tick the chicks little, in. Yeah, you'd, okay. you'd, just, you'd hit the stopwatch when the person touched the wall. Oh, gosh. You had so many jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Bad so mom I, and tick chick. <laughs> <laughs> but they had one race. I mean, I, I've never been to swim meet, but these one group of boys had did the 2,500 meters. Oh, uh, those oh little, is that the one that goes on forever? Laps. Some of them go on forever, yeah. So it's like, it was, mm-hmm. And then Wyatt has a gym meet tomorrow, and then my oldest grandson was in the doghouse. Uh-oh. He got a ticket. Oh. So uh, on, on his behalf, his girlfriend was sick, and he was trying to get her home fast so she wouldn't get sick in his Jeep. And... Uh, the cop stopped, so she had to get out and get sick. But <laughs> anyway, it was not a cheap ticket. But and then Ike and I have a date night. We're going to the dinner theater. I love going oh, to the dinner fun. theater. So I don't even care what we see. I just want to eat. That and, is always fun. We have a really nice one here. But my big one this week. You know, I have a little dog, and whenever I let her outside, we have hawks that live in the trees behind us, and it always scares me when I let her outside you know, to watch out for these hawks. So, but I was driving and this hawk was flying over my car, kind of coming from the side and I'm going this way and he had something in his mouth and I thought, oh, please don't let that, you know, be a little dog or something like that. Well, then I looked at him again. He didn't have anything in his mouth. And then about that time on the hood of my car, I hear this thump and I thought, what the heck was that? He had a snake in his mouth no head. <laughs> it was no head. Landed right on the hood of my car. I screamed bloody. I mean, Sounds like a bloody, Halloween, some kind of a horror movie. I just, you know, I thought, oh, stick. <laughs> okay. A snake. And then, of course, as I was driving, it just <sighs> fell off. Then I think oh, I ran awful. over it. But anyway, it was, it was so, it was so bad. So that was my life update. <laughs> we have a lot of wildlife in Kansas and Missouri. Uh, yeah, here, you, so. you would think. Yeah. And then, I, um, a lot of people have asked about our daughter-in-law, and she was in the hospital again this oh, week no. for three days, and the do- she's almost 32 weeks. She'll be 32 oh. weeks this weekend, and the doctors were really, really sure baby was going to come. So oh. she had to spend the night, several nights, and they did a test yesterday that predicts, that's supposed to be really good at predicting if you're going to go into labor within two weeks and the doctor was sure it would come back positive and it came back negative. Mm. So she was able to go home. Mm. Still has to go to the doctor twice a week from now on out. But she's getting closer. Yeah, though, she's, the baby's about four pounds, so that's good. good and you know... Um, you know, uh, if, if, you know, now the, the goal is like 35 weeks and I think like by 35 weeks, maybe most of the internal organs are all, you know, um, developed and I guess they're less, less likely to have to spend time in the NICU. So, oh, so yeah, very, very stressful, lots but of, keep saying, yes, yes, keep we praying will. little baby stays put. So, okay, so, baby. Yeah. Thanks for the good thoughts. All right, mm-hmm. so we have some past. Do you want to do past finishes? Yeah, I was just going to show you real or fast. Do you want to talk about the word of the year? Oh, or yeah, I can do that. that. Okay, um, just kind of show my January so far for my days. So I've been very busy. I've got a lot of stitching done these last two weeks and, and a lot of finishing done. I was really proud of myself. So this is so far I got, um, I started numbering my, uh, I said I was going to start 23 and finish 23. I've actually started eight 
in the month of January. Oh my goodness, Lenny! And I finished, and of those eight, I think two or three of them were ones that I had started, of my finishes I had started in January. So I finished six. So start at eight and finish six. So I'm really excited. That's good. I am so inspired, and I just feel so I don't know so excited. Good to start the year that passionate, way. just all kinds of. But but um, I was gonna share. Everybody's talking about their words and and uh, of the year, and <laughs> I have to laugh because if you could see my house. But uh, simplify is my word of the year, and I watched Primblom Greenway last night and. Um, her word is simplify also. And she and Michelle from uh, Under the Woolen Willow, watch her, watch uh, Lisa's floss tube. She explains it a little bit, but her and um, Michelle have come up with a way to use your word each month in a creative way. Uh, she explains it a little bit more in detail, but yet uh, there's still a little surprise coming. But it's so neat that we shared this word, and my husband laughs at me. He goes, simplify? And then he <laughs> looks at my, my craft room, and I go, well, that's a word I strive to do. That doesn't mean that that's what I'm doing right now, but I am trying to simplify, and I'm trying to organize, and and I, I don't know how you guys do it, but this idea came to my mind was um, I went to the thrift stores, and I picked up a whole bunch of notebooks, three big three ring binder notebooks. And then, you know, they were a dollar. So I decided to go through my not my kitted stuff or or whips that I'm working on, but things that I have just stored in tubs. But trying to put my well, that's a good idea. patterns to where all of bur all of blackbirds in one book. Yeah, I you know, see hands other on the you know kind of yeah. And I bought the sleeves, you know, to put them in there. And if I do have floss in there, I am going to take them out because I'm not working on it. I'm just tying up the floss, and so I am trying to simplify That's at least idea. come up with some ideas to maybe to wear instead of having all these tubs of project bags. I can go to a notebook and say, okay, these are a. B, C, D. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it, and then I'll let you know if it works out for me. But I, th I think it will. Yeah. So anyway. Very fun. This is my book of days. So I've pretty much stitched Ooh. every day. I Ooh, had like, little. those are my goals. My, that's kind of my thoughts for the year, stuff I wanted to finish. I've had three starts this year so far, and then I'm also keeping track of my purchases. I need a bigger line to keep track of my purchases. So. Uh, well, I did, you know, fold other advice and I bought these extra pages but I don't oh, want to yeah. just write in there willy-nilly because my I want my handwriting to but I was going to put all my whips and my goals and my finishes and the things that I did and you know so that's what yeah that's but right what now I, I just have it in in a little notebook so I want to fix it but that's that's my idea of, of where things are going to go I did that and I someone else oh, I go. saw this I color-coded my whips so when I write them in my you know, when I'm working on them, I try to use the same color. And then I do have a page for my starts oh. and dates. And I have it penciled what I anticipate starting. And then I write it in the colored ink well, when I actually idea. do start it. And then my finishes. Um, I'm a little behind my finishes, but writing my finishes oh. there. And these pages came from that... Um, Oh, those like anthology books that people show. And this, I got the garden one was the only one I that bought. That the sticker book? The Yeah. And okay. they have some pages that are just one big sticker. And so I took them and I just cut them in half and just put them on the edges for just oh. a little bit of color and like a little a little border for well, that. Yeah, we're going to use those blank pages. Yep, we are. Okay. So, so I have a previous finish. Oh, this was from earlier this year. And I just had it framed and just picked it up from the framer on Saturday. Oh, and this it's so is pretty. Plum Street Sampler, I Belong With You. I stitched this on for 40 count pearled barley with the called for floss. And then I had it framed at Michael's and no, I'm sorry, oh, I had it framed at Hobby Lobby. And um, when I went to get the frame, I had in mind, you know, I've seen it framed with those kind of ornate scrolled black frames. And that was what I had in mind, and no one was at the desk, so I just kind of went back and oh, started pulling my own frame selections. And I like this one, even though it's kind of geometric, because it has like the rubbed part with the brown, and I just thought that complemented the colors in the... In oh, the, that is so pretty. 
in the um, design. So, yeah, I was very happy with that. So, in, I'm enjoying that. Go ahead and show your. Okay, this is my big finish this week. I finished Caroline Amelia Trawl. This is by Brenda Gervais on um, 40 count light exemplar with the called for flosses. I, it okay. think, um, I think I started it about February of 2022. And then I just finished this in, um, I finished this last weekend. Yeah, at, so, at our retreat. At our retreat. So, yes. She is one that did get something finished. Or yes. Well, and then I got, <laughs> well, and then I unstitched a lot too, but no. So, very happy to have that that done. It was a lot of, uh, so, it was a really enjoyable to stitch, you know. I just, very, very different motifs, and I love the colors, and that was, Beautiful. A, that was a very And you're going to have stitch. that frame too. Oh, eventually. Yeah. So, um, I brought some of my really rustic um, previous finishes. And again, these are my early days. Well, this one isn't, but uh, my Under the Willow Willow in her book, she had Be Mine. And I just did the back with a little button and cover. And she gives the front and the, and the kits, she gave the back and the front and the little wool emblem there so i love these and i'm gonna oh, bring them back pre-cut does she give those does mm -hmm. the wool pre-cut no oh, okay. she just gives a little squ a little okay. square and then you edit I love everything the little lace look that they, oh, they add on that They're that so is such cute. a sweet touch so i'm gonna get back in that because i've got new seasons coming up and i really look look to see and my february's kind of covered but i don't have any march april may june july okay August. so those are the kind of the things that i'm going to start working on but I got this. This is just a little board that I got at Hobby Lobby. And uh, kind of the retro. And the Valentine is by um, Prim Stitching. No, Country Rustic. Sorry. This is by Country Rustic. And it was an Etsy shop. So I did that. And was the it was that piece from this year or a previous year? Uh, I did see it this year. I got this last year. But I wanna I, just in case someone oh, wants the number. There you go. Because I know some mm -hmm. in the past people have asked for the number. Okay. I think I think this shows, shows up. up. Okay. It's at, that uh, is really a good p a good fit. They have two piece. two styles, this one and one other one. And um, it's nice it's a nice board. And did have I took the string off and put the material on there that I had put behind and it was just something I had and a little bit of lace and uh, I thought it made a really sweet little valentine uh, this one oh that's cute it was angel a little wings. angel wings that I saw at Hobby Lobby and um, and this is the only one I couldn't find the pattern for I think it's Bent Creek but I'm not positive okay. um, but I looked and looked and I looked online and you know there's so many Valentine patterns out there that I couldn't find it. But it was just a fun little a little really quick and I love the little angel wings on the back. Uh, this oh. was little house. I was gonna guess that little house needleworks. I actually put this on the. This is the front side of the pattern. Oh. But I like the little inset it did yeah. and it did have the. Oh, that's staples cute. up there so I just okay. put little buttons up there but this is my February I think I have January February March and some of the year so I'm this is probably don't have March done but anyway I think this is so sweet I love February it's my birthday month so, uh, and then this was Primrose and this is just an old rustic board love is kind I think it kind of set like this but um I think I said it like this. So it was a primrose, they're February 14th, and they had Be Sweet, um, they had some other ones, and another quick stitch. This was just a, um, was from Hobby Lobby that was for your plants, just to stick a little sticker in there, but I used it like a sucker. And my other one that was a previous finish, this is also um, Primrose Cottage and everything came this the the frame came from a thrift store it had the eiffel tower on it. Oh <laughs> and it's goodness. very heavy um but it had eiffel tower on it and <laughs> it's uh, kind of a bizarre thing. 
Oh, yeah. but I thought, I think I can use that. <laughs> and these were just the little uh, styrofoam hearts that well, Hobby Lobby really had. That's really cute. The, the, and then the corner little... with the bow, that's so cute. So Is that Priscilla's plaid or whatever? Do you this think? one is, yes, because mm -hmm. I, I like them because it's already on the diagonal. On the diagonal. Mm -hmm. So those that are my previous really finishes. And is, did it was it called for on the gray fabric? Because I'm just thinking that looks so good with the... No. That was a great idea. I just stitch it's just it on fabric, the gray. And I believe it is 14 count. Yep, it is. And uh, I just kind of grabbed something out of my pile. So I bet I thought, you know, the pink and red and gray kind of... That looks really good together. together. I so, like that a lot. It was hmm. fun to stitch. Hmm. So those are my... Gives me some ideas. <laughs> hmm. So those are my uh, previous stitches, mm. previous finishes, FFOs. And then I have actually got to the point where I have a little Valentine display bowl. I've showed a couple of these before. Um, and then I showed this one on Instagram. I was working on stitching mm. this. This is by, who is this by? This is by someone, someone. I'll have to scroll. Someone <laughs> really it, good. Oh, is it? <laughs> I'll have to scroll it. I just, my mind just went blank. And um, so anyway, I really enjoyed stitching this. And it came with the pattern, came with the trim, the chenille I love trim. love that chenille. It's I think so it's thread work. I think it's Threadwork Primitives. Okay. I think it's Nan from Threadwork Primitives. So I love that design. And then I just did some coordinating lin or quilt fabric on the back with the velveteens. So this was the, this was, um, Lisa asked me if I stuffed it with sawdust. And I thought... I'm gonna, I was gonna try stuffing this one with sawdust. And so I had backed it with this um, velveteen kind of fabric and uh, left a hole in the back and started filling it. I had sawdust blowing all <laughs> over. I haven't and used it. It was that all yet. covered with it. sawdust. It was a mess. I couldn't get it to, so I had to tear off the back, re, re stitch oh. on this. And then I just filled. That's just filled with fiber fill. I just, I, I don't. I know. bought a whole. I bought a whole bag of it, I and I thought I'm going to try too. it because it always looks so cool when it's all filled up. But I thought, I bet this might need a bowl or something that you can. I don't, I don't know. know. You I have to do it maybe it. outside, but I, you know, I might. It's, it's going to get really cold here this weekend. Yeah, I. So maybe. Um, Walnut chills maybe work better for me. Oh, and then this yeah. is something I had finished a couple of years ago. This is one of those freebies by Hands On Design, and I stitch it on the black linen. And then I was kind of disappointed with how it looks, so it just sat for a couple of mm -hmm. years. And then this year I thought, you know, that's not that mm -hmm. awful. So I, I got some linen or some quilt fabric at um, Quilter Station and finished well, it, it that cute. way. And so yeah, and then I this trim is actually just from Target. Sometimes in you know their trim store, you can mm -hmm. find some really inexpensive trim. And so I had also stitched oh, this I like one. like the side pillow. And so oh, I wanna I wanted to try to stitch one that was like this long pillow. And so what I do, and I had mentioned this like one of my early floss tubes, and I can't show you because we're filming on my phone. Oh. But on Instagram, you can save pictures. You can save them. And then you can create folders. And so I have a folder with finishes. Oh. And so when I was trying to see what are the dimensions, when people finish like this, what are the usual dimensions for something like this? So I went into that folder and looked. And I will give, I think it was Carol, <laughs> Carol Mundell. Carol Mundell, I think her... Um, I will give her credit for this finishing idea because she had like a few couple of years ago finished a whole bunch of Valentine pillows and um, that was where I got the she had one almost exactly like that and so it was like oh it looks like it's just double that size. Oh it's so, really cute. You so, show the other ones? I think I just showed these but oh. this was a freebie well this was one that from Blackbird Designs and I think it was originally oh, yeah, in black I did do that. and we get it we got it I didn't, as um yeah. We Again, got it in yeah. the fall, um, quilter I station. Quilter. You know, I and I was tiny. sitting, I have this on my coffee table, and I was sitting on the phone and talking to my son, and I thought, did I forget to stitch this U? Why did I only stitch the U? So I pulled out the pattern, and that's how the pattern is. But it almost looks like, I bet that's supposed to be. <laughs> I bet it is. I bet maybe the pattern just 
<laughs> didn't print or something. I, well, I can't imagine it wouldn't. Well, I think that's the picture, too. So, anyways. Well, maybe it's like a small... I don't know. And then I can't remember. I think this was also a freebie that I did several years ago. But I always like the heart sweet. and hand motif. So Current finishes? Current finishes. Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. Well, I mean, the yeah. Okay. Well, I, I did... I, I did spend the last. I just finished Caroline Amelia Troll. Oh, right. Well, what else have you got done? <laughs> it only took a year. I know. <laughs> I did. Uh, I, I did go to the thrift store and found some frames. So I did finish the things that would fit in them. So this is kind of out of season, but they but they work. So I got oh. ABC Halloween done, and this is just. Uh, Get some stuff. This is just um, I think I got it for a dollar ninety nine, and uh, this darn Privé ABC Halloween. So and it just fit perfect, perfect. So I was really happy with that. And the other one that I got done that was also fit in a in a perfect frame was my Not Forgotten Farm, the flight. So I thought this turned out pretty cute. It probably could have been made a little bit smaller, but it fit and it works and I'm happy. And it's done. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Well, yeah, someone day asked that we mentioned linen. This one was on 40 count um, ballet slippers by Fox and Rabbit. I love that. And then I did change Pink. the floss, and I do have that listed on my Instagram, what I changed the floss to, or I might have mentioned that on the, our last video. So, um, And then these two are little little Valentines that I did. Um, this was um, Key to My Heart. Um, I don't know. I, this was primitive stitching, so okay. and I changed I changed the date to the year that we got married. Okay, so very cute. Aww. and then again, just a little dollar dollar frame at the to shop. And my last one is my little Valentine bird, and this little plaque came from I believe it was Hobby Lobby. And the little heart, yeah, oh. I had a little heart up at the top, and um, there was just some fabric that I had. Instead of cross stitch, I kind of did it X's and O's. So, That's and then uh, just tied a ribbon around it and called it good. So, so, is that like something currently at Hobby Lobby or something you got? On no, I just prior? got it in okay. with, with the Valentine section. So I just got that, and That's everything a was perfect finishing forty percent off for Valentine. Oh, okay, and even the ribbon, the ribbon was forty percent off. And oh wow, I didn't do anything fancy; just kind of that heart to, them and heart to hand. Is that who? Uh, heart to hand? Okay. Valentine bird. So and those are my FFOs. Very good. And then are we on to whips? Or did oh, you I, had, I had okay. Go ahead. Two. This one I just finished. This was a JBW. I'm going to start working on my spring, even though I have a little bit of every holiday here. I think. Anyway, um, this was a JBW, and if you look, I just love these. They had the little bunnies. She has a capital B in there and a lowercase b, and oh, she's she's just brilliant. Judy, I love you. Anyway. Oh, that's really cute. Isn't it sweet? And then I do have the owl. I found the owl. Oh, you did? So I'm going to gonna do that. And then I finished a whip. And this is one of the whips that I had that I worked on for the uh, New Year's Eve. And I got it Great. finished. I think we decided that was not Forgotten Farm. Um, did I write it down? I think we looked it up no, last I time. No, I did Okay. Um, I'll correct it, but I'm pretty sure that we looked that up and that's what it was. And I know I have an old key that that's I'm going to so use pretty. for the finish. So. Oh, very cool. So that's it. So now it's all my finishes. Okay. Well, before we go into whips, um, we went to a retreat mm -hmm. last weekend. So. Was, come stitch with me. That was, was the name of the retreat. It was put on by Quilter Station. It was at the Drury. Uh -huh. And so... We went Friday morning. Well, some people went Friday morning. Some of us had to work before we went. And um, then, well, you know what we can do about that. 
<laughs> anyway, but yeah, and um, it was a lot of fun. It was yeah. very relaxing. We stitched smaller. Mm -hmm. you know, it was a small group, very cozy, and the jury has the best Coke machine in the whole wide world. <laughs> Well, it's free. <laughs> oh, that's why it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, yeah, you get, there was just beverages there. There were snacks, you know, lots of little snacks on the table. And we went out and, um, you know, they have, our, I don't know if all breweries are like this, but they have like a free hors d'oeuvres and, and they actually have like a meal. Oh, yeah, and it's free yeah. for, you know, if you're staying at the hotel. So we, had a nice we just had dinner there on Friday night and then, you know, sat out in the lobby and stitched for a while. <laughs> we had kind of an interesting conversation with a man. <laughs> oh, you, you want to tell him that? Oh, it was so funny. <laughs> well, so a lot of people were in the bar. I mean, there were people well, in for the playoff game yeah, for the Chiefs, Chiefs. And then there was like sports teams and everything. So the bar was full that night. And we're sitting out in the lobby about, what is there's just three of us stitching. I think we did the three. And, uh, Go ahead. Oh, oh, he came up to us and I, he asked us, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm so. I just. I'm still. It still cracks me up. But he asked. He came out. His daughter was in a recital, and she needed a a train costume. She was going to be part of a train, and their order was back ordered, so she wasn't going to have it for a recital. So he came out and asked us. I guess because we were stitching, if we could sew a train costume for his daughter for the recital and uh i said well i think no, probably not I, I i said i know you can go to fritz's and they have the little conductor hats out made out of paper and you could probably buy her a t-shirt but that's the closest to a train that you're going to get from us <laughs> but then he he even came out and asked again if we gave it any well and then i thought. i went to i you know had i was pooped so i went to bed and you came down to stitch some more and you saw him again and uh, he's yeah. still asking about that he still had that on his mind so, so he says you guys gave it a second thought and i go uh, no <laughs> i wish we could help and i'm sorry for your little girl but no <laughs> i don't know how many x's it would take to so it's right i just thought that was that was a very that was very unexpected and he was very nice about he it he was and, and, yeah uh, but Mm, that was no. Anyway, it was <laughs> we're not those kinds of stitchers, but <laughs> but so. it was a very good retreat. Yeah, I mean, I think and I'll I... put some pictures in. Unfortunately, oh, yeah. we took pictures Sunday or Saturday, right as it was closing, and we missed some people. Mr. We Lisa. missed Lisa. Came Hi, Lisa. up from Wich Wichita. We had so much fun getting to know her better, um, kidnapping her and taking her around <laughs> to different stores. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't kidnap her. We, we really didn't, but it was kind of a funny story, too. Yeah. But, uh, Oops, I'm playing footsie. Lenny right. does get lost. Janice. Annie. <laughs> Janice was driving. So, but then Roberta drove. <laughs> but uh, we had a great time. And, it was a lot and, of fun. and all our friends that were there that we got to visit and we got to visit individually with and it was just so much fun and it really was a lot of yeah, fun just relaxing so, and, and got some things done some things yeah but closer you know I, I i did have to frog out almost everything that i did there because i was I talking <laughs> yeah but anyway it was fun and we really enjoyed it and then the retreat is always so there was like was no, there were no designers. Mm -hmm. It was just very laid back. There was um, we did get some like free patterns and a and a free little bag and um, but it was just hang out with your friends and stitch. So yeah. that's and some people went home or, overnight and you know not everyone stayed at the hotel. But it was just a lot of fun and we just hope to see hope more people can make it next year because the weather was fine. There was no issues with the weather. Mm -hmm. But, but it is nice just, you know, you don't always have to have a designer and everything that's going on, which is such a treat when you do. But it's just nice to get together with friends and, and make a point to just have some stitchy time. And, and you have a little more time to chat and stuff. And mm -hmm. then and then the other thing I did is the, um, not yesterday, but a week ago, I think yesterday, so a week ago, Thursday, I took part in the Facebook group SYS 2023 had a live event. So that's Stitcher Stash 2023. And they have a if you haven't heard about this. This is by um, sponsored by Jessica from Sweetwater Stitches and the Fanciful Flamingo. And so you 
you just, you know, they said we're going to have this event. And, you know, a lot of people said, yes, we're planning to go. I think over 100 people said, you know, we're planning to go. And so they had a link. There was a link. I think it was must have been on Facebook that, that they had a link. Well, I had a I had a work meeting that night. It started at 7 o'clock Central Time, and I wasn't able to log on until 7.30. So I logged on at 7.30, and it said, you know, sometimes when you log on to a Zoom meeting, you're in a waiting room, and it says the host will let you in soon. And I'm used to, you know, getting let in within like two minutes or whatever. Well, it was probably more like 10 minutes, so I was sitting there, and I was stitching, and I, and I thought, well, maybe they didn't know, maybe because I came in at a half hour later, they didn't know I was there or whatever, and... And Lenny said that they said that they could only have a hundred on the meeting, and so as people dropped off, they would let more people in. So then I was able to get in and take part in it. And I was sorry I missed the the first part, but it was really interesting because they were inter they were interviewing the designer from Salt and Pepper, um, uh, Emily Call. They were inter they she was there and. She was, you know, answering questions and that sort of thing. And then she had a discount for her, you know, that she gave to participants to use in her online store. And um, so they're going to have a different designer on next month. So if that might be something you're interested in, it was a lot of fun. It was, you know, we did have a little bit of time to chat and, you know, and, and just see people that maybe you haven't. Maybe you, you follow them on Instagram or, you know, or like I know I'm some people I'm in a, you know, one of the guilds with. And so it's nice to see them in a different in a different setting. So that was fun. OK. Um, so whips. Oh, yeah. What, what's what is, are you? Working I on? am kind of focusing on my whips and I'm going to. Because I got so much done these last two weeks, and I was really, really happy with my what I did get accomplished. And I think because I did steadily work on some for more than, you know, a day. And I do think that there's a lot I, of merit nice. yeah. that Roberta had put out to where if you work on five days. I can't say I worked on them all five days, but I am working on a lot till I get done. And I think you'll see Ooh. my... I've been calling it buttons and berries, and it's not. It's it's birds and berries. But I am almost done, you guys. Oh, this is just turning out so pretty. It really is. I just love the two colors. Um, so I just have a little bit. Oh, can I point down there? Just just right in here. But the border's all done, and I have worked on that steadily for the last three days, and. I mean, I could not believe how quickly it came together, and I was like, I want to finish it, I want to finish it, so, but I packed it up for today, so I will finish this probably tonight. No, I don't remember who the designer oh, is. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, it's a trans, Tapestry Barn, it's an okay. Etsy shop, Tapestry Barn, so, I just think it's so sweet, and my, my fabric that I did get with it. I think it will look. I think it will look pretty good with that. I think it's matching. Mm -hmm. Well, it's still it it does match it. Mm -hmm. Really good. So I'll make a cute little pillow out of it. Okay. Okay. Oh, it was, and so this was one of the things I was working at on at the retreat um, after I finished Caroline Amelia Troll. I have mentioned that I wanted to stitch on fall at least like a couple of Fridays a month. And so I am working on Calico Confectionaries. I love fall most of all. And so I got oh, a few more stitches. That reminds me. Yeah, Somebody asked, and it was so that. cute. She asked what the little buttons were on our fabric pieces. Oh, the, the like the, the needle, little needle blanks, minders. Needle minders, They yeah. do look like little buttons. So, yeah, I figured out I had to do some, because I'm recharting this so it fits in the finish that I wanted to fit fit in, I had to rechart the words, and so I had to fiddle with them a lot, a little bit. But I'm done with the flowers. Just need to fill in the flowers, and do the border. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to move a squirrel up here because you know we love our squirrels. Yes, we do. And so I was very happy with the progress I made on that. And I'm going to stitch on that again tonight. Okay. Oh, 
Do we have time for a joke? Sure. Okay. And I'll try to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why a chicken coop only has two doors? Because... <laughs> Four doors would be a sedan. Oh. <laughs> You're making me cry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Back to whips. <laughs> I also have a fall and I was able to work on it at the retreat. And I, I know I got a lot done, but sometimes it's just not showing it. But I'm still, I'm going, this is going to be my focus piece. This next two weeks, I want to see some more. I got uh, some sky mm -hmm. and some tree mm -hmm. and um, a little bush. It's looking good. So it's coming. I think in a couple of weeks, you're going to see a big difference in it. I hope so. So I've got that. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. So <laughs> Winnie and I started this piece on Christmas Day. Mm. I'm going to chance to work And on. I did go back, and I'm going to work on a Christmas piece on the 25th of every month, but I put in a few more days on this one. Look I at you. I am almost done. I have another row of alphabet, and then filling in the little, I think we decided these oh, are little Roberta. hops or whatever. So You're almost yeah, done. I know. So I think um, when that comes around, and I'm going to put this away now until February 25th, but I'm hoping 25th. I'm hoping in February that, that will be a finish for me. And this is on, oh my, what is this on? Oh, that's what we forgot to say. What is this on? I will have to, I will have to scroll what this is on because I can't remember off the... Probably a 40 count? It's, I'm pretty sure it's a 40 count. It might be, Ab I don't know if it's Abyssidarian. That's what it was called for. And I don't know if I had some of that or not. So I have to, sorry, I have to look that one up. I am so sorry we were... We were asked to show, to tell our linens, and 90% uh, of mine are probably vintage country mocha. It's one of my favorite fabrics to work on. Sorry, I'm going to go um, out of frame to get my pen. This one, my little bunny, was actually a 18-count Ada, and I just did one over, well, one over one, but I only used one thread for this. And uh, this one I did use two over two. So we'll, we'll try to be, we'll, I'll be better with that. Okay. Um, this is what I'm, oh, I tried so hard to get this done today, but I couldn't get it done. But I am oh. almost done. I am doing this oh. Pineberry Lane Sweet Clover Girl, my, me and my sister. So with all the little clover. It's so sweet, you guys. And this one is, um, I don't know the name color. It was a smoky gray of some sort, mystic gray maybe, but it was a 28. Got like some blue in it too, or so yeah. it looks like almost lavender undertones. I don't know. I really like it. I'm, yeah, I was very pretty. I'm trying to be stingy with it because I, I don't know that I've seen. I haven't seen anyone stitch that. That is yeah. just adorable. I got the greatest oh my gosh, finish. Where did you get that? Off of Amazon. Are you <gasps> look at this, you guys? Oh. I don't. You can see the little clover. She's gonna sit on the top of that. Oh, that's awesome. I just went on Amazon. And said I wanted a St. Patrick's Day hardback book. I don't know. I can't remember what my... That's perfect. But isn't it? It's just awesome. So I'm going to finish it. And the back's got all the little clover on it. So and all I have left to do, she does. She is holding... Um, she is holding two little clovers. Where is she? She's got two little stems of clover here. So I have that and then a little bit of color in her dress just in the middle of the clovers and uh, that's in really good me. shape so anyway i'm so excited i'll have this finished for y'all uh next week so and i'm trying to hopefully it's small enough i'm going to try to pick out another one maybe of the two maybe of the two little girls down here for my daughters so anyway so i'm really excited about that oh that's adorable 
And this was one of my fin or starts this year. I was going to start it on the first Monday of the of January and I realized I didn't have the right linen. I am stitching this with my friend Kay and this is one that's stitched on two different linens. It's on Heartland and 36 count Heartland and 36 like, count so. Red. And so she said, so <laughs> so I had, the, had all the floss and then she had some extra linen so I got the extra linen for, from her because you know I was not able to find Heartland or 36 count Wren anywhere. And so um, she was starting on Wren. I'm like, okay, I'll start on Wren too. And so stitching away, we're, so this is like <laughs> Friday night, Saturday morning, something like that. At the retreat. And and she had showed me a couple of her, she had shown me where she was. And I stitched my ball and I thought, that doesn't look anything like hers. And so I showed it to her and she's like, and she has a Louisiana drawl. And she was like, did you read the directions? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, because I had trouble finding what it, I thought it was a, well, I guess I thought, well, if you're starting on the, you're probably starting on the right side, right? And so I started on the right side and started stitching this bowl and she was actually on this side and stitching that bowl. So, okay, fine. So tear all that. Uh, well, actually here's, here's how far <laughs> I got. That's what I got done. The first time. I realized I was wrong. So okay fine start on the right side start stitching the bowl and she was at she had gone to another table to be doing something else and so we went over and joined them and she looks up at me and she's like <laughs> what color are you using and i misread the key and i was <laughs> stitching my bowl in the wrong color so had to take frog all that out so um like six hours of stitching or <laughs> that's all i got done but so I am starting on this, and like I said, this will be my Monday stitch with Kay. It's not super huge. Of course, it takes longer when you have to keep frogging things. But <laughs> so, we, we, have yeah. a, we have a new saying now. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter does this to me when I do something kind of silly. And it's like, oh, Mama, you're so pretty. <laughs> In other words, you're not very smart, but you're cheerful. <laughs> Well, that reminds me, last night we were at the swim meet, and on the wall they had the logo of the school, and it had the most awesome logo for a school. It was the Jaguars, and I had a Jaguar doing the breaststroke out of the water. His claws were out like this, and his teeth were out, and the water was coming up like waves. And Anyway, I thought it was really cool. <laughs> I was really pretty last night, because <laughs> I said to Sarah, Luke needs that t-shirt. That is so cool. <laughs> She says, Mom, this isn't our school. <laughs> I knew that. And she goes, you're so pretty. <laughs> anyway, Roberta had a pretty moment, too. Yes. So, <laughs> you know, Saturday we're wrapping up. It's getting late, you know, and I was excited. Oh, it was supposed to snow. It was supposed to snow. And, yeah. You know, and, so we were, we were kind of watching out for that. Well, and the Chiefs game was and the starting, Chiefs game. and I go was Chiefs. I was going to go to the Hobby Lobby, and my frame piece was in. I was excited to see that, so okay, bye. Get in the car, traveling <laughs> along, get you know like 15, 20 minutes away from the hotel, and I'm like, hmm. I get a text. <laughs> I don't have my suitcase, <laughs> and you know, usually I just take my suitcase out of the room and put it in my car, and we put it in the room, and I put my bag near it. And then I think I took my bag and went over to the table to say goodbye and just walked out the door. <laughs> so, she's so pretty. We're, we're just America's sweethearts today, aren't we? That's <laughs> what so we told my husband. He thought that was hilarious. So anyway, but, so anyway yeah, I, I called Quilter Station because I didn't want them like locking up and, you know, said, I'm on my way back. And I walked in. Everyone thought it was hilarious. You know, Rita's like, did you forget something? So, Did you read the directions? <laughs> Thanks, Kay. It was one of those weekends, but yeah. Oh, so. we had a good laugh. Yeah. Oops. Uh, yeah. Do you have any more whips? That's it for my whips. Well, I'm going to show this last one because I had packed everything up to come here. And then I had a few minutes left to stitch. And I was like, I can't. I mean, before I left for here, I go, I can't not do nothing. So I picked this up. And... This is going to be another one. This is my um, uh, Little House Needlework logo chart. Love Family Home. 
So I just got some more done on the house. But it's not very big. I mean, the house is the biggest thing. Once I get the house done, the rest will go really quick. So count, trying to count down those whips. Good job. So, Good job. All right. So I think we're on to plans. Yes. Um, and so um, one of the things I'm planning to start, I had ordered this from Traditional Stitches. This is a Traditional Stitches exclusive. And this is in a bag by um, oh, it's someone who was new to me. And I'm not going <laughs> to, I won't remember who it is. It's a beautiful, oh, it's Shiba Designs, S-H-I-B-A oh, yeah. Designs. And I just love the fabric, her fabric choices. The bags are very well made. It's really nice size. So anyway, that is what I'm storing Lucy Barber 1857 in. Mm, look at her. And Isn't she pretty? So yeah, I got that from Traditional Stitches and I'm going to be stitching that. I'm going to try 46 oh, count. I like I gave her a card to put on the back. Mm-hmm. Oh. Gosh, that's, oh, those colors are gorgeous. All right, and um, 46 Count Wood Smoke by Tabby Cat mm. is the one of the, is what I'll be sticking it on. Your... And then I got the, what are these? I think these are the Avera Oh, the 103 Silks, yes. Oh, so gosh. These, what those a... are all kind of new to me, but looking forward to trying that. If oh, you get a new blend, too? Yeah, and it came with, if you ordered it all, like by mm. a certain time, and you ordered the whole kit, You that was like a, a little extra that came with it. And then on their Facebook group, they are, I think this launches, and I know they just put out a video about it. I haven't had a chance to watch it. Um, they have broken it down into parts. And so it's a stitch along, and if you get each of those parts done at the designated time, I think you'll be finished by the end of the year. Oh, so great. It's a goal. It's a goal, right? So well, They do have it. Is that part of the... The lines is that part of the yeah, and the then the numbers are like one, two. Oh, okay. So yeah, so and then that's twelve. You can so, do it. I guess so. Twelve. I guess if you start, I think the official start date is February fourteenth. I know some people have already started, and so I guess you'd finish by next February fourteenth if you did that. But yes, that's very pretty. I know. Is that pretty? Ah. Um, let's see. My my plans, birds and or berries and birds. That's my first thing to do. I'm going to do Autumn Town. I'm going to give five days to that this week. And then I've got some new starts. I want to work on spring and, and summer because those are kind of my deficits as far as decor. Um, so some of my... Oh, let me show this. Okay, yep. yep. We got a very, very nice card. Very nice card from Annie from the proper stitcher she gave us both cards for a happy new year so annie thank you that was so kind of you i don't think i've ever received a happy new year card and it's so pretty but you're, we, you're so thoughtful yeah we had we got to meet annie at um the quilter station retreat and hope our paths cross again this year i so. hope so we had such a, it was good a lot of fun roberta's gonna drive <laughs> Or we'll stay put. <laughs> or we'll call an Uber or something. I don't know. Uh, and so one of the other things I my plan is, I mentioned that um, you had there was 15% off Emily Call's shop um, for people who took part in the SYS um, live chat. And so I went ahead and ordered her Valentine pattern. Very cute. And I, yeah, I think that's really cute. And so I was going to start that in February. I was thinking about, I've had this... War, 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 rata linen for a long, long time mm -hmm. and haven't been able to do anything. I was thinking about using that and I was and changing the color palette and that was just pulling some stuff from my stash. Mm -hmm. So while the pattern's new, the linen and the floss are from my stash. Now I'm kind of, I like the one you had on the gray. With the gray. That was really pretty. I think that'd too. be pretty on the gray. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty. I have to I'd see say if that I have for any gray. Maybe if you do a monochromatic light color you know i don't know that's like a, a very quaker good, or something something you know something but, simple more simple so that's probably good well i purchased a few things and this is part of my plans and i'm going to work on this this weekend uh oh, i'm so excited for the cheese i can't already stand it <laughs> anyway i got this from buttermilk basin 
so I want to get these done and glued so I can sit and stitch. So and it came with the wool. So, it's but nice it's something you know. Yes, it is kind of you know it's got the hearts, but I think I can leave it up, you know, for as long as I want to. Uh, but I love you know we both love wool, so mm -hmm. this is my my new project. Okay, and then um, yeah, when we were. So I joined a fabric club. It's the Atomic Ranch Fabric Club. Oh, I like that. Through, um, it's Needlework something. Needlework Delight. No, it's not Needlework Delight. I'll have to scroll. <laughs> Another thing I'll have to scroll. Um, I know she's out east, and I'm just drawing a blank on her name. But anyway, so this was the first the first linen that I got for Very in pretty. January. It's called Freeze. It is. Isn't that pretty? Very I love pretty. that. It's kind I of want. a... Very taupey, kind of a taupey, tanny gray with a little modeling. Very, very pretty. And then we went, we did we did hit a couple of shops. Yeah, we, we hit the retail. And so I think I got this at Quilter Station. I got some more picture of this plus Oaken and 40 Count because that's just such a nice, mm -hmm. kind of a natural for, you know, an age look sampler. And then a shop near us, CC and Company, had a big linen sale in January. I avoided going because I didn't want to, you know, buy more than what I needed. But they had lake, they had lakeside light exemplar, so I got some forty count light exemplar. Isn't that pretty? I like that kind of creamy. Yeah, it's really green. pretty. And then I've never had American chestnut, and I've always, I like you know, that too. Laura always says this is like the perfect linen. So I got some R and R. American chestnut ordering that from the fat quarter shop. Mm -hmm. I also got this pattern and I think this Jessica showed this on her floss tube and said that she gets so many compliments on it and it was just gorgeous. I was not familiar with this pattern but I thought that was really really pretty and I know I'm doing several ornament exchanges. I hope to do several ornament exchanges the, this the wreath, year. So. You could just do the wreath it, itself. Mm -hmm. So, Erin, that's by Erin Elizabeth Designs, another new-to-me designer. But pick that up. So if I find the unstitcher, I'll show that. But hey, <laughs> um, I did a little bit of shopping myself besides um, my online shopping. I, um, I've i always wanted to do the word play. I, I haven't started it yet. I'm... I just, I, I like them, and I love to do alphabets, and so I didn't want to start with February because, you know, I don't think I'd get it done oh, this February, so I started with the morgue, mor morgue, with the morgue, <laughs> <laughs> with March, uh, I just, I love the colors, I, uh, no, I don't know, I didn't buy the fabric for this, I guess, uh, I did buy the, I did buy all the flosses. So I've got all kinds of flosses here. Oh, that is really pretty. Uh, I'm not sure if that goes with that or if it goes with... Let me hold. Um, you probably, no, I think it, this one goes with that. So, uh -huh. and then also, um, I purchased this earlier, or actually Stacy Walker found it for me at the attic. I was looking for it. Oh. And so she brought it to me to the retreat. So I want to do the Easter parade. And so I got the floss for that got this is cc and then um i think this is the fabric that goes this is 30 count angel hair oh so how pretty think, is that i think that's going to be that looks look really, really springy real pretty real pretty with the you're gonna have a lot of nice things for march i know i'm so excited and, and then i found this one that i just couldn't miss um Silver Creek samplers, no winter lasts forever, no spring skips its turn. I thought, what a great saying. And I've got to find the fabric for that. But I do have the floss. So this is this is another one. So I'm really I'm really in the spring right now. And of course Kansas City is just now hitting its winter. <laughs> I think we're supposed to be nine tomorrow mm. or Saturday. But yeah, we got a little more snow this week, not what they were predicting, and that's supposed to be bitter cold for the game on Sunday. So I bought this is thirty six count antique white. I obviously didn't put the pattern that I was going to use for that, but this might be that forever never. Oh, 
because I, I started that at the retreat and I didn't like the fabric that I was going to. So I asked Roberta, I said, should I continue doing this? I'm not. So she says, no, buy new fabric. So if you're not happy, yeah. If don't. you're not happy with it. So I, I think this is what Usually I Usually you me. don't keep stitching and get happier. No. <laughs> so <laughs> it doesn't get any better. All right. Well, I, I got a couple I'm more done. things that I purchased. And this was something I've looked at for a long, long time and finally pulled, pulled the trigger on. What is it? And um, oh. the quarterly sampler and antique needlework quarterly i started getting some of the magazines because i really like you know having something in my hand and reading it like when i go to bed at night and things but there's so many of them and they're nice. getting kind of pricey so that was just cost effective just to buy the whole collection and oh that's be fun to watch the, yeah and and just find certain things and then um Okay, that's coming. That's something else I have ordered. I have Martha Evans on order from the attic, and I'm going to I'm going to use my linen for that. So that's my stitch from the stash portion. I'm using the linen I have on hand, and but I'm going to be doing that I think in a Verisua also. Okay. So looking forward to starting that. Um, that I just love that piece. I know a lot of people mm -hmm. are already I working seen it. on I, that. Yeah. And I've then, got a lot of new, I mean, I bought those samplers early on, and I really want to start, I want to work on my Rosa Sugars. Yeah. She, she's, she's in really there, pretty. but I'm, I'm going to work on some. I've seen a couple other people doing that one, too, she's recently. She's just so sweet. Gosh, she's just so precious. Yeah. And then uh, just a heads up, if you ordered from the addict in, in December, um, you know, I had emailed them because I had ordered back in December and hadn't heard anything and they had a computer glitch and a lot of orders got suspended or, or lost and so they are in the process of recovering them a lot of people have been covering calling but if you ordered from the attic in December and haven't heard anything you might want to give them a call and um in case their their um you got in that glitch their yeah their computer people weren't able to recover all the orders so they're working very very hard to catch up with that so that was very so they were just wonderful to work with just this is the sweetest call from carolyn and just yeah love love ordering from them and just sorry that they had to go through this because computer issues are not um. fun so and then someone had asked me and i don't know if this was like a message through instagram they said something about is the Edmonton retreat open and you know basically I usually do my updates on the website on the weekend because um, it's just hard between work and coming home and maybe cooking dinner and relaxing and stuff I want to block a time to sit down and really pay attention so I did look on there is a Facebook group for the stitch I think it's I, I'm not going to try to remember exactly what it's called but there's a facebook group for that it looks like the registration is open for that and that they still had some openings so i'm sorry i went back and tried to find that message and i'm not sure what happened to it but um just message it again yeah and if you are interested in the country sampler summer retreat um i think they were planning to start sending to open registration in January. Um, I got their newsletter on Wednesday and didn't see anything about it yet. So if that's something you're interested in, keep a close eye on their newsletter because um, I think they're really opening registration for their summer retreat mm -hmm. shortly. There should be a lot of them coming up. Yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, I've, and if you are interested in getting, if you know of a retreat and you want it listed on the website, it, if, Either send me some kind of PDF that lists the information um, or give me information about, you know, the dates, the times, if you know, like the time it's starting and that sort of thing, the cost, the location, and, um, you know, just kind of the basics, what's involved. Is there, you know, is there exchange? Is there non-exchange? Because they're all a little different. And, you know, is there a designer? It just saves me time you know, emailing back and forth if you send all that basic information at once so that I can get that updated. I think we're up to, I think I'm up to like 45 listings, mm. although some might have dropped off. You know, a couple have taken place and some might have dropped off. Someone mentioned there was a lot of retreats in Florida. I found one and added it to the website, but if you know of other retreats, let me know. I'm happy to um, follow it up and get them listed. I think because, uh, uh, 
Stitch, um, was it Stitch West? Mm -hmm. I think it's starting to, do you have that? Um, I, th I think I heard them mention Stitch West the and there's Stitch Northwest. And I think, I thought one of them was full already, but I'll have to, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. But yeah. Um, yeah. Happy to list it. I'm really excited. I hope it's a good resource for people and that more people are finding out about, you know, retreats and maybe there's one that you didn't know about in your neighborhood, but we, we so think they're fun. fun. Uh, they're the greatest. So People are very, very nice. It's just a wonderful community. I love how we support each other and, you know, we appreciate the, the mentions we've gotten from other floss tubes. And mm -hmm. did you have some you wanted to mention? You've been I did watch a floss tube uh, this morning, actually. It was... Um Oh, gosh. Uh, they're, they're called the Lone Star Stitchers. It's Christine and Michelle from El Paso. Um, they had their first floss tube this morning, or I watched it this morning anyway. So good luck, ladies. I hope you enjoy it as much as Roberta and I are enjoying our journey Doing, here. Yes. So uh, well, I think that's... And then I might have mentioned this before, but um, one who was new to me was the Seattle Stitcher, and it is... I just love watching these younger ladies, you oh. know, get into the hobby. And it just brings back memories of that time in my life and how fun it was to be involved in stitching and how much more fun it would have been if you knew what a community mm. there was out there and that yeah. you were making all these connections across the country, across the world. We were really thrilled to hear, you know, about viewers in Costa Rica and France oh, and England. Yes, and we had Paris and Australia and... Yeah, England and New Zealand, and it's a very exciting it time is exciting. to be to be doing this. I mean, there's there's to be a lot of good about social yeah. media. I think that comes from connections like this, and I think this is the best of social media. And I just love our viewers, and thank oh. you for for commenting, viewing, this, and commenting. This is such a passion. I mean, I just it's like I think about getting up and stitching in the morning, and I want to stitch all day, and well, I kind of do, but. Uh, <laughs> But, it, you know, it's just such a fun hobby. And I think, oh, gosh, you know, had I done this 50 years ago, you know, just, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I missed out on a lot, but I'm making up for it now. By yes, you are. <laughs> All right. Fun. So do you have um, one to close oh, us out? I have one to close us out. What did one cantaloupe write to the other cantaloupe in her Valentine card? You're one in a melon. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> please like and sus subscribe. We appreciate your time with us. And please feel free to leave us a comment. We appreciate your comments, your feedback, and we do love you. So. We do. Goodbye. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day. Go Chiefs! Yes. <laughs>